So this is our uh, SMS reverse vending machine. Uh, the whole goal of our project was to incentivize um, recycling, plastic and aluminum cans. So our methodology through our flow diagram is once we insert plastic and uh, metal cans, the inductive and capacitive sensor read whether it is a metal or a plastic and it sorts it as needed. And as well as our LCD screen also counts um, how many plastic bottles and aluminum cans are going through. As well as at the end, when you're ready to finish, you, we have a push button to print a receipt and that receipt tallies uh, your total. Do you want to show them how it works? Yeah. So here we have an um, uh, aluminum can. So here we have an aluminum bottle. can and a plastic bottle. So we're going to put the aluminum can and it sorts it to one bin. And then we're going to put the plastic bottle. It's not it. And it sorts it to the oh, second bin. Oh, and so, uh, and so our system has a counter and it counts how many plastic bottles. So our system has a counter and it counts how many plastic bottles and aluminum cans we have. And when we press the, the, the button here, we, we, you get a receipt that counts how many bottles and how many plastic bottles you put into the system. And then um, in the future, we're planning to work with, the, with UTIP and the UTIP bookstore to um, hopefully give some type of credit or minor bucks to the students who, who recycle using our machine. So right here in the, in, the, in the receipt, you'll see we have four plastic bottles and one aluminum can, the amount that we put into the system. And hopefully in the future, uh, these uh, number of bottles and, and aluminum cans can be transferred over to actual minor bucks that we can use here at UTEP. Yeah. Anyone want to say something else? Yeah, and then um, also another future thing that we plan on having is um, it'll be solar paneled, so um, pow solar powered. And so it'll be all around campus. We'll have an app that shows where each one is located around campus. And then in that app, instead of using a receipt, in that app we can tally up the points and then use like a QR code and be able to go to the bookstore and redeem those points as well. So um, yeah, I don't know if you want to more. And uh, of course our design is a smaller model of what we would plan to implement on campus. Uh, hopefully we will be able to make a bigger system so it can hold a lot more uh, bottles and cans so that it doesn't need to be changed out as often on campus. We also have a load cell at the bottom that measures the weight. So once the cans are full, um, it'll send a SMS or it'll send us a text message saying, hey, it's time to um, replace it. And then we'll, we'll be able to like have a new one. So that's pretty much it. And the reason that we wanted to do SMS uh, was basically because the SMS can send you a message anywhere in, in the world. If we try to do it through Bluetooth, you have to be in a certain range. And if you do it through um, uh, Wi-Fi, you have to be connected to that specific server. So that's why we chose to do SMS uh, we, with this project.